My daughter just carried that chair to that room. I was sitting down quietly in that room. And the inside me, Holy Ghost began to operate by reminding me how mighty God is. Holy Ghost convinced me that God fed thousands of people in the wilderness. And the Holy Ghost answered to me, if you convert the, more, the food God used to feed those people, according to Bible archaeology, they say 3 million. They convert the recorded married men, only 600,000 married men. So including their wives, their children, that is 3 million, according to Bible archaeology. Now, when you convert the money, the food God used to feed them morning and night for one day, how much will it be? So when Holy Ghost converted that in, into money, I now see that God is mightier than my rent. I now see that God is mightier than the money I need to rent, pay for the house rent. He began to show, tell me the time God, God told the man of God, called Moses, to tell children of Israel that tomorrow he will feed children of Israel with fish. Not one week, but one month. Three million of them. So now I now see how mighty God is. Immediately faith rose up inside me. You know, people are claiming faith. You cannot claim faith. Faith is not something we claim. A man that don't know God's word don't have faith. Faith is not confession. I know that confession proof is the way to demonstrate faith. But faith is not confession. You must have faith before you confess on the platform and foundation of faith. Our confession was based on the foundation of what? Our faith. And our faith will not be on the things that cannot last. Our faith must only be according to God's word. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Shep all the people in the Bible. They say these are the men of faith. All of them operate in God's word. Shep all of them from A to Z. Even in our generation, you will never see any man they say that this man is the man of faith without knowing God's word. So when I was there, faith rose inside me. I look at my rent. My rent becomes small. My rent, though I don't have money, but it becomes small. I pray with that understanding. In the name of Jesus, if God can feed these three million people, what is my house rent to God? If God can supply all their needs for 40 years in the wilderness, what is my house rent? God can do more than that. I pray that prayer. After praying in Jesus' name, I come out. I know that God will answer. I know. I know that God will answer. So I am not surprised when after praying that prayer, I began to take a step of faith to look for house. I have I have done many things without having money cash. And yet at the end I achieved it. Our coming here, no money at hand. No. I was coming here, no money, but the Lord achieved it. You know, when you pray with understanding by faith, you will know that the word works. Because the word, the word I pray with understanding, the word I pray less when I'm talking to you people. You people do not understand it. You people do not understand it. My wife gave birth to five children. All my five children, no one of them, my wife went to Atlanta. No one. But I am not telling you not to go to Atlanta. Amen. Because I know this is my wonderful sister. I go to Atlanta. I know see her body now shining. The work of Atlanta. <laughs> Hallelujah. <laughs> so now, she didn't go to Atlanta. Every time she wants to go to Atlanta, you know, sometimes God will make. Things God will make money not to be in your hand in order to give you something money cannot die. <laughs> when God loves you, sometimes money will not be in your hand. So that you will take you to that corner where you will survive without money. You will survive without money. And that time God will put us in that corner. <laughs> no money. So when my wife wants to go back to Nata, she will enter inside our room. Near down, Father in Jesus' name. That is our Atlanta. She gave her first child. 
No complication. She will go to scan when it is about to, to put to bed, to know the position of the baby. And when they go, the baby must position well. <laughs> the baby must position well. Hallelujah. So God taught us that. We come to a stage now, we now have that faith. Nothing, nothing push me. Nothing can give me sleepless nights. Nothing. I wish that everyone that comes to this church will understand it. I wish that everyone that comes to this church will understand how faith works. How powerful God's word is. How powerful the word is. I have seen a lot of people. They say, Pastor, look at my knee. I say, My God, answer your prayer. I just go. Without, without any, without giving them fast and prayer, and they came back with the result. Because I'm saying it based on one foundation of God's word. He sent forth his word. He sent forth his word. A woman went to her church. They told her that she, she will deliver through operation. Hallelujah. That woman was telling me, I said, bring your wife to my house. Bring your wife. They gave her a prophecy of her operation. She said, yes. he said, yes. I said, bring her. They came to my house. I said, what happened? Because after giving her the prophecy in the church, she went for scan. Scan also give her, her their own prophecy. You know, scan is a prophecy. Scan gives her, her the prophecy also that she will give birth with oppression. So the scan and the prophet, all of them say one thing. Eh? Some of you, when you come to that place, you say, it's true. It's true. But when she came, I gave her another prophecy. <laughs> I said, Madam, they said, your prophet told you we put the bed with the oppression. I said, okay. They gave you that promise you give to bed with oppression, yes. And uh, Stan also give you the same prophecy, yes. But I want to give you another prophecy based on God's word. According to the word of God, he said, every woman will give birth like a Hebrew. Like what? How did they give birth? Before Egypt can come, they have put bed without help of nurse, without help of doctor. I say that is my prophecy for you. Go home. I said, what happened? He said, the baby is not staying well. The baby is lying down, standing up. I said, madam, what is your problem? You know, sometimes we are the problem. We are the problem, not the situation. We are the problem. I said, madam, what is your problem? If the baby likes to stand up, let the baby stand up. The baby is staying the way that it will be okay for you. Yes. I don't disturb the baby. The baby wants to lie down. Let the baby lie down. You, when you want to sleep, are you standing up? Are you bending down your head? Are you bending down your head like this? You know the way baby stay inside you. So you want them to be bending down. They want to lie down like you. Hallelujah. Because our understanding varies. My understanding comes from God's word. Not I saw, I see, I saw. I see, I saw. It's from what God said. Okay, because the baby is not staying well. She said yes. I said okay. She was sitting down there. I didn't touch her. I don't need to touch her. Is it when I touch it to walk? That is nonsense. Unless God is in my heart to touch. But I didn't touch. I said, baby, stay well in Jesus' name. I said, go. They left. That's prayer. Stay well in Jesus' name. Is it prayer? Huh? Yeah, yeah. It's prayer. <laughs> Is it when I come and say, I can see, I can see where they tie the baby. I can see the one leg up. I can see, oh, see the head is down. Oh, Jesus, Jesus, I break it. I cut it. I cut it. I cut it. As I saw you hold the seed of 5,000 right now and claim the miracle. Now, I'm great prophet. <laughs> Hallelujah. I said, go. She left my house that Sunday. Not knowing that on one day she went for scan. When she went for scan, the, the scan said that the baby is your pos position well. She called me on phone. She shouted. I said, don't worry. We are still waiting for the day of delivery. And that woman did not tell me she had five brothers in her womb. I now know that it was the cause of that five brothers that the prophecy came. And... Uh, the scam prophecy also do what? Yeah. But the word of God now 
You know, one of God is overshadowed the whole prophecy. I don't care to know anybody that gives prophecy. When I come to Bible, it's not what is written. I throw that one away. I throw it away. I can throw prophecy away hundred times as long as it did not rhyme with what God said. I will find what God said and use it as my own prophecy. <laughs> On the day of delivery, she went to her level room. She delivered her bouncing baby boy to get down with the whole five broad in her womb. That was the end of the five broad. The power in the world, power in the world. This one is not any man, uh, they do this, uh, they give you spiritual work. They say, bring water in the midnight, present it to air, and they command, they invoke. No, no spiritual work there. The word is the spiritual, you, you don't understand the power of God's word. That is said that we should hold the word of God, which is the sword of the spirit. Ephesians chapter 6, verse 17. Let's go there. All my need and desire in this church is that every one of us here will come to understanding of God's word. If the Lord is supplying and providing all my needs, financially and materially, what about people that are around us? What about our brothers and sisters in the Lord in the church? Let's go there. Ephesians. If you are there, say amen. amen. If you are there, say amen. amen. Okay? Let us see it. The Ephesians chapter 6, verse 17, and take the helmet of salvation and the sword of the spirit, which is the word of God. The word of God. You don't understand. Do you think that Satan I wash you in the name of Jesus? I kill you in the name of Jesus. You think that Satan is afraid of this? <laughs> <laughs> Look at what Jesus did when Satan came to attempt, we came to tempt Jesus. Did Jesus fight him? Did Jesus fight Satan? Jesus that have power, that not have problem with Satan. He said to Satan, "It is written, finish." So the, in the realm of the spirit, Jesus has released sword. In the realm of the spirit, Jesus has already released sword. It is written. Thou shalt worship only God. Thou shalt worship no other God except. And he said, and now saw so that this one is wise. It's not like other people. It's not like other people you want to give 10 days dry fasting. Out of ignorance. He now decided to come to Jesus with the word of God and say, it is also written. So now, I have discovered that it's a prophecy against prophecy. Jesus now said, Satan said to Jesus, it is written, I will give my angel charge over you. Satan told Jesus, Jesus, that they will carry in your hands and you will not dash your feet against stone. And Jesus said to Satan, it is also written. Satan used God's word now to deceive Jesus. Likewise, many a times you come and counter prophet and visionaries, they use this Bible to deceive you. But Jesus said, it is also written, thou shalt not tempt the Lord thy God. Somebody say amen. amen. Somebody say amen. amen. And in the fight in these days, is the fight of faith, defending what God said, believing what God said 24 hours. I'm not talking about all these uh, all these uh, jargons that is everywhere. I know that they are selling. They are selling. But at the end, what do they get is money. And at the end, they are poor. Because I'll check all the first prophets that are poor. That is why I don't want to be among them. All the, all the first prophets I know, all of them are poor. Miserable. They are just in one location. Just build one small place called church. Just gathering people, collecting 5,000, 20,000, 100,000. 100,000. Where will you see a rich man? You will do 1 billion. Where? Where? Because those people that have that 1 billion will not come to you. They normally go to where they preach God's word. Money is no longer their problem. You think that everybody is looking for money? There are people, their problem is how to spend money. They are praying, oh God, give me wisdom to spend this money. They are not praying for money. Many people are not praying for money. 
And that is the problem sometimes when they preach a carry Bible. They think that everybody needs prosperity. There are some people that their problem is not prosperity. How to invest is their problem. So the word of God is the sword of the world. Of what? Every child of God that don't know God's word is powerless. I don't care to know how many days you fast and pray. As long as your prayer and your fasting is not according to what God is saying, you are wasting time. I don't care to know what, how many years or days you fast. If your fasting is not according to what God said, eh? you are wasting time. Do you know that even when you want to fast, because you are in need, eh? because you need something, and the, that your fasting, that your need has no link to what God said, eh? your fasting is nonsense. This is why many people pray and fast until they are tired. They say, where well, is God? After the night fasting two days, after 10 days, right? I met one pastor, he fasted for 14 days dry. Some people fasted 21 days dry. 21 days dry. No food. 21 days. But one thing I want to find out here is that when I want to fast, what is the purpose of my fasting? Because it is written. If I want to fast concerning finance, I will not just hand up there, good God, give me money. In a nonsense prayer, I will not find unto him who is able to do it exceeding abundantly above all. But I ask for thing can ever imagine through the power that is at work. And the God is able to make all grace to abound towards you. That in all things you will always have sufficient without lacking anything, so that you can abound unto good works. Silver is mine, gold is mine, says the Lord. So these three quotations of the scripture will become the foundation of my fasting and prayer. And when I am praying, Lord, according to your word, you say that you are able to do exceeding abundantly above all I ask and think and ever imagine through your power that is at work in me. Oh Lord, answer my prayer. Oh Lord, answer my prayer. Supply all my needs. Terminate my suffering. Terminate my sorrow. According to your word, the word said that silver is mine, gold is mine. Lord, I ask for silver. Lord, I ask for gold. In the name of Jesus. That is the prayer. That is how to pray. That is how to pray. Praise God. Praise God. So now, why is it that people, when they come to church, like many of us here, sitting down here, you are hearing this word of God every day in the church. How many of you do it? How many of us here, after hearing the word of God, do it? How many of us, after hearing the word of God, do it? Are you doing it? When your life begins to hang on the word, when your life begins to hang on the word of God, that is when you are sure of tomorrow. Even you when money is in your hand right now, don't rejoice. Because money can be in your hand today now, and the next 10 years you will suffer. Money can run away, but the word of God will continue drawing money. The word will continue drawing money. The word works with flowers. Your problem is because you are imagining how will it work? Who will God use? Are you God? Are you God? Who will God use to make it work? Hey, I don't have this one. I don't have anybody to help me. Are you God? Your job is to believe what God said. Look at this man. The Bible said that he believed the word of God. Amen. All the people that believe the word of God, the word begin to work for them. Before the end of this year, many of you here we end up being landladies and landlords. Amen. I say many of us here we end up being landladies and landlords. Amen. The word works. The word works. The word works. I said the word works. I want somebody here to believe the word of God and come on that bell ball. Not all this, uh, all this, uh, come on that bell ball. Through God's word, come on that bell ball.
I remember when we are in our former year, things were very tough. But God was helping us that time. Hallelujah. God connected us to different messages, different pastors. We are, we are downloading their messages, listening to the ways of God, listening to the ways of God. And I know one man of God, this uh, man of God called Richard Selman, he's my mentor, I love him. Uh, if I have not watched his message, I have watched his message, what is 200 messages? More than 200. And one of his messages, I watched one of his messages more than five times, ten times, one. And I, if I calculate all his messages I have watched, it's more, it's with more than 200. Apostle Olamet, Alamet, I begin to follow my father in the Lord, Bishop David Nogedebo, begin to teach about the mysteries of the kingdom, how the kingdom operates. I begin to apply those things. I begin to apply those things. Things were working. Things were working. Gradually, 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 gradually. I remember the time the Lord visited me. The Lord said, Today, I rebuke the power that locked you inside. I remember that day. I remember. I remember. Everything turned. Uh, our neighbor. What was the song that our neighbor was singing that night? Uh, who knows whether that God? Uh, who knows? Uh, only God knows. Because they feel good. Boom. They, they, they know I was feeling that. There are some people that enjoy your problem. I feel for you that anybody that is enjoying your problem, may God disappoint them in Jesus' name. Anybody that is happy that you are passing through sorrow, is enjoying your tears, whosoever that is enjoying that you are crying, whosoever that is happy, you cannot pay your rent, whosoever that is happy, that you are being disgraced, may God disgrace them in Jesus' name. May God give you favor that will bring tears from your enemies. May God give you favor that will make your enemy to run mad. May God give you favor that will bring tears and sorrow to your enemies. Only God does. Hallelujah. The thing started. The Lord was telling us to the journey of faith. I'm not doing ministry because of money. No, God has helped us that we go beyond money. God has made us to know what to do when we come. So I will spend it. I said, spend it when we find a place. I'll come and tell you. If I collect that money from you now, from him, and by the time we find a place, the money is the more than the one I collected. Will I come back and say the money is no rich? Or if I ask give him the money and the place is lower than the amount they brought, will I refund the remaining one? I left and he spent it. So, when we are telling you about God's word, don't stop, stop, stop missing the power in God's word. Somebody say, Amen. Somebody say, Amen. Amen. The word works. Anytime you speak the word of God in the realm of the spirit. When Jesus went to that fig tree, what did Jesus say to the fig tree? Let no one eat of you hereafter. All right? The time Jesus caused that fig tree, the fig tree will die immediately. But in the spirit, as you will that, you have died already in the spirit. Still, sometimes after speaking, you still look physical. It never happened. You speak again. And after that, you look around again. The thing is never with that. You do what? You pray again. You don't, your faith don't become fake. Amen. Amen. When Jesus said to that victory, let no man eat of thee hereafter. Jesus knew that what he said was based on God's word. That it will come to pass. So if you don't have time. To be looking at that victory, whether it will come to pass or not. You know, you never say a word like that. But you begin to say a word like that, seeing me coming to pass, you will know. The next day, Jesus was going somewhere with his disciples. I knew that Jesus, Jesus knew the mind of his disciples. That his disciples will be doubting. Who knows whether this thing will work? I knew that was the reason the next day when Jesus was going somewhere. 
Jesus decided to carry his disciples to pass that road. And in order to prove that his disciples were, were still arguing and doubting Jesus, Peter, Peter said to Jesus, Peter was looking at that place with all of them. You know, sometimes there are some things the pastor will say, some people will say, ah, who know whether, that, who know whether, Peter said, ah! But I knew that Jesus wanted to show them. Jesus was teaching them. I love Jesus' ministry. He was not trying to be a superman. He tried to be a mentor. To train other people so that they will know like him. They will pray like him. They will walk like him. They will carry power like him. I decree in the name of Christ, Son of the living God. Somebody today, you are coming on that front. I say somebody today, you are coming on that front. Amen. Jesus knew that it would Peter said, Master, see the victory with that. Look at what Jesus said. Jesus did not say, You don't know about my friends. I told you, the Lord called me. Imagine the present preacher. He will not allow us to rest. But look at what Jesus said. If you have faith, Peter, and the all of you here, hearing me, you will not just do this thing I do. This one I do is too small to compare to what you will do. You will not just speak to the tree, but you will speak to the mountain bigger than this tree and say, remove and move, trek and run with pass and enter ocean again. And he said, mountain will move and go there. Yeah? Can you see that kind of mentor? If you are Jesus' disciple, would you try it? So, Master has told you that you will do more than you. That what he's doing is more thing to compare to what you will do. I am not surprised that Peter did miracles. I am not surprised that Peter, all the disciples of Jesus, lost signs and wonder. Philip, when he was preaching, demon possessed people are crying, demons coming out of them. Philip used to disappear, Jesus never disappeared. Jesus never disappeared in every ministry. Yeah? Anywhere he would go, he would go there, trek, or he enter camp. Yeah? But Philip, Holy Ghost used to make him to disappear, he can disappear here and find himself in an umbrella at the He would go there and preach, after he can disappear and go to Holy Ghost. Philip used to disappear. Jesus inspired them. Jesus inspired them. Not all this same time we see how many people picking the feet of the uh, pastor's shoe. Instead of a man of God, a woman of God, telling them you can do like this. The word of God works. And I pray that that word will work for you. Amen. That word will work for you. Amen. I said that word will work for you. Who believe that the world works? Who believe that that world will work for him? Lift up your right hand. Make a demand before God now. The world works. La kapaska to rega daba shaba gayada. Ma le kato rega daba shaka paska to rega yada. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Shaka rana daba shaba daba yada. Rekete le kapaska to re kapasha kapura dala dala lama dayada. Lord, give me understanding of your word. Give me understanding of God's word. Give me understanding of God's word. Open my eyes to know the mysteries of the kingdom. To know how powerful the word of God is. Sila kapasha kapura dala kapasha lagaya talama. To know how wonderful the word of God is. The world works. Who said that bad is not? The world works. The world works. The world works. When your faith is in the scripture, you see how powerful. Put your faith in God. When you remove your faith from what you are seeing, put it in God, you see that the world works. That day, Genesis again. 
was on his bed. They said that he will die of his sickness. He will not survive. But he was on his bed. Open his Bible. It was the book of Mark 11. And he saw the word of God say that whosoever that will believe, whatsoever you shall say to God and believe, without doubt in your heart, you shall receive what you ask for. He said, Who said this? It was Jesus. He read it by himself, no pastor read to him. Say, Whatsoever you ask God, without doubting in your heart, you shall receive it. That was the word that he gave me again. Gave me again was completely healed from blood disease. He was completely healed. He stood on his feet. And at the end, Jesus called him and said, I will use you to heal others. He began to find the word of God, find out the word of God. Without having a church, he had it, was sponsoring magazine for Christians, printing magazine, sharing for people, every month, $250,000. His personal money, $250,000 every month. You will spend it in order to write gospel in a magazine and share to other people. Who provided that money? The world. The world. The world. He believed the word of God in such a way that, in such a way that nothing moved him. Nothing moved him. We are talking about people that walk in God, walk with God. We are talking about people that walk with God. Come encounter God's word today. Do you know the mystery of tithe? The Bible said, Can a man rob God? He said, No. He said, But you are robbing me. He said, How are we robbing you? He said, Through your tithe and your offering. He said, Go and break your tithe and put me, says the Lord, if I will not open the window. That is the place God entered two commandments. A sworn covenant. If I don't open the window, I'm sure why you my blessing that your room is not on there. And there are many people, they are not engaging in tithing, and that is why your health is close. Completely close. That you are born again does not make you not to suffer on earth. You will suffer well, well. Once you disobey the area of God's. Word. I found in the Bible it said, My servant will do my work without shutting anybody. I found it in the Bible. My servant will do the work without shutting anybody. And when you do that, I will send the world, the merchandise of Ethiopia, the one of Sabians, all of them they will come in shame to him. They will say, Here we are, because their God is in you. I found this in the day, I found it in the Bible. I know this is the secret of prosperity of operations. Doing the work of God without charging anybody, without putting pass and the tension on people. Now people want to come to church, they say, today they will see that I don't have money. They see that. And that is why, to the, to the level that he did on the harvest day, our harvest day, no raising of seed. On our harvest day, no raising of giving a time. You see, some churches in heaven say the day they raise him. Yeah? But we can't say it. No reason not see. Come and eat and do what? And do. So I want us to come to that realm. Lift up your two hands. Can you talk to God for two minutes? With conviction in your heart, the Lord to turn away things for you. God to turn around your life. God to turn this mess around you. God to call my time. God, God to counter your problem. Talk to God right now. Talk to God right now. With conviction of faith in your heart. Come to my aid, Lord. Come to my aid, Lord. Come to my aid, Lord. I am telling you the prayer you are praying now will change your life like a dream of the night. He has the power, power. I am talking about supernatural power. Power beyond powers of darkness. The power of God crushed the power of darkness. The power of God crushed.
touch any mountain, any valley, anything, any hindrance, God's word cross all of them. Before God, when the word of God go ahead, the Bible said that I saw, I saw a man sitting upon the horse, upon a white horse, and he, the name of that man is called the word of God. His name in the book of Revelation chapter 19, the name of that man is called the word of God. The word of God. And wherever he goes, the whole host of angels, the whole heavenly host follow the word. Follow him around. You don't understand that when the word of God is released, all the powers in heaven pack it up. You don't understand the power in the world. You don't understand the power in the world. The Bible said that wherever the world goes, all the powers, all the armies, all the military in heaven follow after the world. Speak that word right now. 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 Find out what God will say and speak it now. Unto him who is able to do exceeding the abundantly above all we ask and think and ever imagine. Somebody can stand on this word I said now. Unto him who is able to do exceeding abundantly above all we ask and think and ever imagine through his power that is at work in us. Oh, God is able to make all grace to abound towards us. That in all this we always have sufficient without lacking anything so that we will abound unto every good works. Hallelujah. <laughs> Let somebody speak that word. In Jesus' name we pray. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name.